Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today I am going to take you through the Black Opium uh, perfume range from Yves Saint Laurent. Um, I know you guys have been really enjoying um, my rundowns of the different perfume ranges that are out there, um, so I thought this one would be helpful as well. I know that all the different fragrances these days always have new flankers every year and it's so difficult to keep up to date with what the difference is between all of them and you know most times they have very similar bottles and you know it is a bit of a maze minefield trying to figure it all out so hopefully this will be helpful for black opium so the YSL original opium was a really heavy aromatic fragrance released in the 80s was very popular so when they brought out black opium and they brought it out in the same bottle just black I figured that it's probably going to be an aromatic fragrance again um, it absolutely isn't it smells nothing like original opium so if you like that then you probably won't like this one um, instead it smells quite similar to a lot of the popular perfumes that are out there at the moment it's made by um, the sort of Lancome family of fragrances, um, which is owned by L'Oreal, I think. And they make, um, well, obviously things like Lancome, Trezor, Nui, which in my opinion is the most similar to Black Opium. They make Armani, they make Victor and Rolf Flower Bomb, um, they make lots of other um, brands which have quite similar fragrances and I think this is very typical of a sort of fragrance released in the 2010s and um, this is exactly the type of thing that people like at the moment so it's got patchouli in it's got vanilla in all those different fragrance notes that we smell in so many perfumes at the moment um, I actually really like this because what they've done, so when you first spray it, you get a little bit of the pear that's in here, just like there's the pear that's in Jimmy Choo, another one that's relatively similar. Um, and then you get the vanilla and the patchouli. But what's also in here is some coffee, um, coffee bean type fragrance, which I think is unusual and quite nice and makes it quite warm and homely, really good for autumn, winter time. There is a little bit of jasmine in here and musk. Um, some pine notes but predominantly it's a warm gourmand vanilla with and I think the coffee beans make it a little bit more um rock and roll as it's described in their marketing um, so that just differentiates it from a lot of the other fragrances that are out there at the moment it's okay for lasting not amazing but not awful um, you'll probably get four hours out of it um, which is typical of an eau de parfum at the moment really so the eau de toilette version that came out in 2015 um, is as you would expect a much lighter version of the original and the coffee beans are there but you have some sort of tea leaves as well there's a loads of black currant and the pear is really amped up so you get a lot of pear when you smell this it's very fresh very light and the vanilla has been taken out as has the patchouli and I think those were the two notes that really made this pack a punch and made it really uh, strong so by taking them out they have created really quite a weak version of the fragrance so for those people who don't want anything strong this is good but I think it did receive quite a lot of criticism in terms of its lasting power um, which is why they've probably brought out other eau de toilettes more recently which I will come to later. So the Black Opium Intense version, which comes in a lovely glittery blue turquoisey bottle, is quite interesting. So they have departed from the original fragrance here. There is still the nod to it, and you still have loads of the coffee beans but what they've added in is um absinthe and licorice so this is really licorice -y. it kind of reminds me of like ad absinthe shots or something on a night out like it's really packs a punch it's quite heavy and strong if you like licorice smells then this is definitely one for you there aren't that many licorice perfumes around at the moment so definitely try this out um but by losing the the chewy and the pear, um, which are the things that I like about the original. I find this all a bit too much, but everyone's different. And it does still have the vanilla in for that underneath warmth, but I think the licorice and the absinthe 
um, take over along with the coffee bean and they're really the dominant um, fragrance notes. So in 2016 we got Black Opium Nuit Blanche um, which is a slightly different version of the original Eau de Parfum. We've still got vanilla, we've still got coffee beans but the patchouli has been replaced by some sweeter warmer notes so you've got caramel in here and you've also got like a milky type feel so this almost feels like a sort of milky caramel um, coffee chocolate or something. They've also added sandalwood and some sort of peppery anise um, It's quite a foody type fragrance, I have to say. Um, there's even coriander notes in here. So this is definitely like a gourmand vanilla warm edible, um, but it's definitely, yeah, a fragrance that's like a, a, a pack of chocolates or something. I find this a smoother version. It doesn't quite have that same punch that the original had, um, but if perhaps you found that a bit much, then this is a much warmer, smoothing version of it. Perhaps better for the spring um, or summer, um, whereas the original Eau de Parfum would be better for autumn, winter. So in 2017, we got Black Opium Floral Shock. Now, even though this is an Eau de Parfum, for me, the fragrance notes in here remind me very much of a typical Eau de Toilette. So this is a much more um, floral, as you'd expect from the name, summery version of um, Black Opium. You've got Gardenia in here. Uh, you've got Freesia White Flowers, some sort of sodary, warm, summery notes. Loads of the pear from the original. The coffee has remained, but the vanilla and the patchouli are not here anymore. So this is really quite f like a floral coffee bean. Think more like um, the actual sort of plant, coffee plant, rather than just the coffee bean. Um, really much the most floral in the whole range, hence the name Floral Shock. This is really the most delicate in the whole range, I think, and um, I can imagine this is quite a safe gift to get someone if you know they like floral perfumes. This could be, it's pretty difficult to dislike, I think, unless someone really hates um, floral. So I think this is the safest in the whole range. Uh, lots of perfumes have these kind of notes in, um, it's quite neutral and inoffensive and perhaps if you really like black opium you could wear your black opium and then use this to top up throughout the day to sort of complement and mix with it. So as I mentioned the original Eau de Toilette was not so successful so in 2018 they actually released a new Eau de Toilette version which is called um, Black Opium Glowing Eau de Toilette and essentially they've basically tried again in my opinion. This has some nice citrus notes when you first spray it you get some zesty lemon and lime then the coffee starts to come through and the pear but what they've done is they've kept patchouli in which I think really helps with the lasting. They haven't gone as far as to put the vanilla back in but I think having the patchouli there really does help make this um, a bit stronger than the Eau de Toilette that they did release and will make it last a little bit longer. Um, this has received much more positive feedback from people, people really like it. Kind of reminds me of the Jimmy Choo Eau de Toilette compared to the Jimmy Choo Eau de Parfum. Um, a nice spring floral Eau de Toilette version, sorry, a nice spring summer version of the Eau de Parfum. And again, would be good uh, mixing it with your Eau de Parfum perhaps in the spring summer to keep it a bit lighter. Um, but I think they have done better with this one than the original Eau de Toilette. And as you would expect from all popular fragrances, in addition to the flankers, you can get a um, body lotion, a hair mist, and a dry oil that you can use in your bath, on your skin, whatever. If you do really like this fragrance, then I would always recommend getting the accompanying products because they really do help layer the fragrance and make your sort of whole body smell of it, um, which really will help with lasting power. So those are all available as well in the original Eau de Parfum scent. So that's it. Let me know if you wear any of the Black Opium fragrances and what you think of them compared to each other. I'd love to know what you think. I have loads of other um, perfume reviews similar to this about other different perfume brands and their ranges. I'll leave some link down below. But that's it, so thanks so much for watching. I hope you found it useful. If you did, then don't forget to give the video a thumbs up and subscribe for more similar perfume reviews. But thank you for watching and bye for now.